Now, depending on the source and cleavage action, the restriction enzymes differentiated into three types and that are the isocisomer, neocisomer and isocodimer. Okay, so at first I discuss about the isocisomer. Isocisomers are any two restriction enzymes which came from different source. That means they, they are isolated from different organisms but they recognize the same sequence and cut in the same position. So here, for example, these two restriction enzymes are called isocisomers because they came from different source but recognize the same sequence that is 5' GA, GC, TC, 3' sequence. Okay? So they recognize the same sequence and cut in the same position. Both cut in this position and produce same 5' overhang. Okay? So this type of restriction enzymes are called the isocisomers. And now the second type is the neocisomer. Now what is neocisomer? Neocisomers are any two restriction enzymes which like isocisomer came from same came from different source and recognized the same sequence. But unlike isocisomer, they cut the same sequence in different position. So here, for example, this SMA1 and SMA1 are called neocisomers because this SMA1 and SMA1 <coughs> recognize this particular sequence both recognize the same sequence that is the 5' CCC GGG 3' sequence but SMA1 cut this sequence in the middle position and SMA1 cut it at the end extreme end position so they like isocisomer they are come from different source but they come from different source but they <coughs> recognize the same sequence like isocisomer but they cut in the different position but isocisomer cut in same position okay so this is the difference and similarity between the neocisomer and isocisomer and the last type is the isocodimer what is isocodimer isocodimer is another type where <coughs> two restriction enzymes two restriction enzyme also come from different source that means they are isolated from different organism but remember that this is the main point they recognize different sequence they recognize different sequence but after cutting those sequence they produce the same overhang okay so for example this is the bam h1 and mb1 both are called both are called the isocodimer because this bam h1 Recognize the sequence that is 5' G, G, A, T, C, C, 3' Okay, and MBO1 recognize N, 5' N, N means any nucleotide Then G, A, T, C, N, 3' So this, they recognize different sequence But after cutting this, in this position BAM H1 produce a 5' G, A, T, C overhang okay in both strand and now here you can see that after cutting in this position also mbo1 produce a 5 prime gatc overhang so the so the i so they are called isocodemons because they they came from different source recognize different recognition sequence but after cutting different sequence they produce the same same single standard overhang okay so these are the difference and similarities between the isocisomer neocisomer and isocodimers okay 